What's up guys, welcome to another video. Um, this video is going to be about my technique and shading and possibly lining. And you'll see that um, in the coming clips that as like the needle is moving really slow in and out of my machine during these clips, um, but it's not, it's moving. I, I run the machine at, um, between 10 and 12 volts. So it's, re it's pretty fast. Um, it's just the, my camera, um, only caught a certain amount of frames so that's why it's making it look really slow going in and out but that's it's kind it's kind of worked well because I can you can see how far I I adjust my needle um, to come out so that's the the depth of which I have my needles um, sticking out of my machine so the machine I use um, is just here I use the um, injector flight nano elite um, I've got the limited black edition just because I really liked it and um, it's about I think it's about 620 pound um, $800 if you're watching from America and the and this is the pack you get um, so basically you get like the grip and stuff I use the grip so I just use this standard pack and um, you have like three well four including the stock one you get like four different torsion bars um, which you can set for like hard, medium and soft, um, how hard the machine hits and stuff. I won't go into too much detail. That's probably going to be an, another video, but I just want to sh uh, show you right now, like what I use. So I use the black bar here in the kit, um, which is, I've tried each one of these and you can turn them around and stuff that gives you a, a different hitting as well. Um, so you can like fine tune it, um, but I'll show you that in another video. Um, so I've just found I found that the the black bar is just the best for me and how I use the machine and um, how I tattoo basically. So let me go back to the video. So this is my stencil. This is a tattoo I did today. Um, I'll probably go and do another another video on how I stencil as well. Um, I stencil using my iPad Pro um, and uh, Procreate and then transfer that and then do it like a do and then run the stencil through a machine and then apply it to skin but i'll i won't go into too much of that either i'll um basically just go over some um techniques i use so as you can see um i'm now lining this is how far i have my needle typically poking out um it's probably just bigger it's probably around just bigger than a, a one pound coin if you're in the uk i don't know in the US but yeah that's how that's how much it's sticking out right now and as you line it looks super weird because it, it looks like it's going in and out really slowly but it's not it's just the camera catching some of the frames and just doesn't catch most of it most of the um, in, in and out motion so it just looks like it's going out really slow so yeah so that's how so you just want to make sure like your hand movements are super consistent and then you can go back into the line that um, and make sure you feather it in uh, as you go into it um, and when you stop and start a line you'll see here when you stop and start a line you just want to feather it in to the like the last point you 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 went in so instead of like so if I was if I was to pause it say so now I'm going in I would if you can see my mouse I've done this line here and when I go in I'll always I won't start from where the exact point is because you'll leave a hole you want to go into the tattoo into the line again and just carry it on you know um, so look I've gone into the last bit and then I've just carried it on um, and that's just so you don't get holes and stuff in the in the line work so I'm just doing the lines right now um, can I fast forward this don't think I can but I will probably jump. So this is me just doing some more lines. You can, I'll just keep this playing so you can see me just doing some lines. And you don't want to put the needle all the way in. Look, I'm just sort of hovering it above. I'll probably put it in a couple of mil, um, just so, let me turn it on silent, just so it's on, um, just so you know, it's, because uh, if you go too deep, you will, you will blow the line, depending on where the body is as well. This is on the outside of the forearm. Um, and each section you want to try and do it in one one sweep you don't want to keep doing it all 
because like you don't want to keep um pulling it out and then putting it back in the skin because it's just going to be really inconsistent so this is just what i'm doing now just picking my lines off and um just going going through with it and then you'll see um i've got my shading my shading reference points as well on my stencil which is the the dotted lines um that I'll go to but we'll we'll go we'll carry on watching a bit more of the uh, the lining and then um this is another this is another needle I think this one is a 7 I was lining there with a um a 5 round liner a tight one so that was a 0 0.5 oh maybe that that was a 7 this is a 5 now so I was this is a a, a 0 0.25 5 round liner and I was lining there with a 7 round liner which is a tight as well so it's basically a five because like you get the tight versions and then you get the normal versions so so say if it's like a say if i'm using a type seven it's going to be one down normal so it, it'll be basically like a five and if i'm using a type five it's basically going to be like a three in a normal needle um, but i use the 0 0.5 needles because um i find they're just a bit more sturdier to be honest um they just hold their own a bit more you know um it's just personal preference though basically you know so this is me just uh putting in these lines this is a five round liner right now a tight five round liner so it's basically a three i've got something on my lens in the middle of the screen which is really annoying that i keep looking at so um yeah so i'm just l looking around making sure i've got all, all the lines and the lines are crispy clean which so far so good i think um i apply vaseline as well really thin layer and spread it out just so it beads the ink when you see the ink going on when i when i eventually put the needle back in the skin you can see the um the the ink beads so it's easier to see that's the i get loads of questions why um i use vaseline just makes it easier to see basically where you're going because if you didn't use vaseline it would um like pull on the skin then it just makes it harder to see really so this is me just going in so let's get to the shading part um if i do the shading part oh yeah so i'm using so this the, these little black parts in the gun in the revolver i'm doing now are the i'm using a i think i'm using a seven for this i'm using a seven round liner and you'll see me um fill it in so this is me filling it in and you just I just sort of fill it in like a pen really and then you give it a wipe and you see where you've missed and you just go go back over it you know it looks really weird because the needle motion's really slow but it's it's not but you just you just lightly feather in the skin and if you move your machine quite quick where it creates little dots um that's that's how you want to make sure you do it so when you move your machine quick and it's like almost dots you know and uh, that's the best form of tattooing for for the skin to be honest with you like um you can use a, a real small uh, mag magnum shader but i find they they churn up the skin too much and there's there's if you don't need to use them um just don't just use a, a liner needle and make sure you don't just like hack into the skin just make sure you go over the like you know brush over the top um but yeah so that's how how i did those give it a quick wipe looking clean looking clean um so the so this is my technique for shading so this is called stippling and i do it in layers so i will layer it up from like light tones of gray and i mix my own gray uh gray ink up i don't use any um inks that are ready mixed like you can buy the packs that are ready mixed like medium light medium dark you know super dark and stuff like that light ink light light shade and this is basically what how i shade so i'm using a um a type five here the smallest smaller the needle the better because it's it's more um more fine it's more fine fine line and fine work and i get a bit of a smoother smoother um smoother blend with it um if you use a bigger needle you'll see the dots more you know and it can make it 
it just makes it look like it's kind of dot worky. But if you keep like I'm layering it up now, and um, and again, like you can you can with this technique, you can go over this the the same spot quite a few times to be honest because it's so good on the skin it's super good on it's probably the best technique i've ever used on the skin so this is another angle look it's in the shade a bit but it's in the um the dark area because my hands in the way of the light but here you go i literally just do that that's how i shade to be honest um super easy um and you just want to lay layer it up I'll go over the areas that I've done with the Magnum just to smooth it out even more because you, you will see dots in this um, form of shading because you're moving the machine fast across the skin and it's leaving small tiny dots. Um, it's called stippling. So let's see if we can get a bit further up. But it, it, it's really good for tight work because you, you're using such a tight, small needle. Um, you can get into really tight places and just feather it in just how you want you know um let's see yeah see like i'm doing the the uh end of the gun and you and you can see that it's it's pretty it's pretty you know pretty solid pretty smooth smooth way of smooth way of shading um yeah it's it's pretty um pretty simple really that's you know i can't really talk too much about it um needle depth is probably the same needle depth as you would use as as lining and then you can cross hatch like this so i've d gone one way the other way and then i'm doing this way the other way so you cross hatch it and then i'm doing this way look so i'll go in two diagonals and it just smooth smooths it out even more um so yeah, so this is basically a video just showing you my technique and basically giving all my secrets away, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and then it just sort of comes into hand, um, hand, what's the word? Not hand speed. It, the, yeah, I suppose it comes into hand speed because then if you use, if you go slower with your hand, um, you'll get a, a more of an intense patch, like a darker patch. And then if you go, like this like I'm using a lighter ink anyway but I'm using a um a faster motion and it will create a lighter area you know like that so um let's see if we can so then I'm going back over this look with uh the up and down motion now I've probably gone through with it already with the side so I'm just going up and down just making sure it's all nice going along my shading lines I've got a bit of a cold that's why I'm sniffling and uh, yeah so that's basically it to be honest that's basically my my technique for shading but I will go back over it with a mag towards the end um, so I'll just try and find another video for you and show you how I shade again. Let me go back into Finder. Let's see if we've got, ah, oh, so this is another video I've got. Um, I did this a couple of days ago, same kind of thing, but with a rose. So similar technique, well, exactly the same technique to be honest. Look, and as you can see now, you can see the small dots um, and, oh, and you know, you go over this bit you layer this up more which is why it's darker and then you just feather it out you know um so i've probably done like say in terms of layers i've probably layered this 10 times and then i've layered this six and then i've layered this two you know so then it you know it gets darker to lighter and it all comes to practice i suppose let's just uh so look this is i wonder if my needle you can see my needle moving in and out this one Let's move this down here. Yeah, see, this is better, look. See, these are the lines I'm doing now. Um, again, I'm using a five, type five. And I'll probably go into this bit. Yeah, and then I'll just use this. Same, exactly the same technique. And this finished, this finished product, uh, product, this finished tattoo is on my Instagram as well. Um, you can go and check it out at Oliver Air. Um, so look, I'm now layering it up. I'm going into the darker bit twice. 
and just feathering it out, pushing it out towards the end. And then I'll go in. And it, you do have to be careful with this technique on what ink you use as well. You have to be super um, careful with the, the shades of ink because if you use a dark ink and you go into like a light bit here, so this section here will be light and this section here will be dark. If you go into here with the same dark ink that you've used here, this is going to create... And like you, you use a faster hand to make it... Um, less dense dots say um it's still going to look quite dark so you have to rinse your you have to rinse your needle out every time you dip into a, a fresh color of ink i'll put a video up um on how i do my drop system as well um but yeah this is just showing you my technique today on how i do it so look i'm doing real fast hand mo movements like that and it's super light you know hasn't even gone in yet that you can see anyway it probably has but super fast hand movements for lighter shades and obviously light ink if i went in and did this with dark ink you'd see dark you would see dark dots on it for further apart which is not good um so yeah so now i'm just trying to blend these two bits together so it's quite dark here and you've got a light bit there um, and if you do go over the same spot this is a tricky area because it's right in his ditch right of his arm um, so if you do go over a bit of skin that does tend to bleed out a bit more which is around this area um, if it get if it becomes red just leave it just leave it for like five ten minutes let it calm down and just go back over it so this bit um, hold on let me fast forward a bit there you go look this is basically my technique like i can't really say anything else to be honest i can't really give you any more tips like if you want to ask me questions put them in the um put them in the comment section and i can answer um needles i get from killer ink and uh obviously look you can see i'm using the flight nano elite from inkjector and uh it's an amazing it's an amazing machine and i'm as you can see i'm using the black bar as well so in the other video you could see the needle moving in and out really slowly Look, with this one you can't this is how this is how it actually looks um there's some more of this light shade in here with light ink as well use light ink don't use dark ink and it just picks out it's nice to use a small needle like like this one because you can really get into some really small spaces and with a mag which is like a straight a straight needle group group together straight needle it's almost like um you have to really it's quite hard to maneuver around because it's in an, in an awkward shape you know you have to use it one way um so you can't get into tight spaces with that unless you're really good i mean i've seen artists do pieces like this just with a mag and it's like wow like you have to get used to it definitely you have to be really confident and just get used to it um so yeah so that's 10 seconds of this video i'm going i'm just going to open find back up and see if i've got any more videos to show you while i'm here what's this one Oh, so this is probably the beginning part of this uh, of this tattoo. Oh, look, I think I've shown you the the needle depth here and how far it sticks out, but it's probably going to be blurry because um, yeah. See, look, you've got that. It's probably the same depth as the other one, to be honest. So I was just going through the line work here. Just working my way from the bottom again to towards the top. Um, the reason for that, reason being, is because if you start at the top and you're wiping down, you're going to rub the stencil off. You always want to start at the bottom and you want to wipe down so the stencil, you've got the stencil still on there, you know. If you start at the top, then it's just going to be a hassle because, especially if you're doing a portrait, like you do not want to get those, those things wrong, you know. So, yeah, so needle depth, again, that's how far I keep my needle out. Um, I think that's all I've got to show you at the minute. Um, 
yeah i think that's it so if you have any questions guys just give me a shout uh in the comment section so yeah um that's a bit of my technique guys um so if you do have any questions give me a shout and i will be happy to answer anybody uh, about what equipment i use what shades i use how i mix my ink um etc etc so yeah thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next video